What a WWE SmackDown Live that was last night, guys. And today, this is going to be my WWE SmackDown Live review from last night's show. So here we go. We kicked off WWE SmackDown Live with Shane McMahon. He comes down to the ring. And he tells Kevin Owens and stuff like that that he is going to beat him at WWE Hell in a Cell. Inside that Hell in a Cell and stuff like that. He's going to do it. And he said that how does he like it if he beats up his grandfather and stuff like that. In front of his troller and stuff like that. And then that was it. He was just talking about Kevin Owens. About him beating up his father and stuff. Now we have match number one of the night. Randy Orton versus Aiden English, the soap opera. And of course, Aiden English does his soap opera music thing, of course, by saying, I hear voices in my head, they talk to me. And now here we go. What This match was pretty epic. Randy Orton comes out, and they have their match. And plus, Randy Orton is a RKO, and Aiden English was jumping off the top turnbuckle, and then Randy Orton hit a RKO for the one, two, Three, and that was it. And now, before match number two started, Rusev came out and he starts to talk on the microphone about WWE SummerSlam to Randy Orton about his Russian family and stuff like that that he lost and stuff that he was sad that he lost. And so then next, this was a pretty quick match. Aiden English does a distraction on Randy Orton when the bell rings and then Rusev does a super kick to Randy Orton for the one, two, three, and that was it. And here's a winner, Rusev. And then now we have the WWE Champion, Ginger Mahal. That's right. Ginger Mahal comes down to the ring with the Sim Brothers. They're talking about Shinsuke Nakamura, and he said that he's going to beat him at WWE Hell in a Cell and stuff. And they're showing like a couple pictures of. Sensei Nakamura and stuff like that. They kept showing and stuff that all the fans cheered for Sensei Nakamura. Ginger Mahal was saying and other stuff. And then they were just mocking him again and making fun of him and stuff. Like always from last week showing a picture of him doing this. And then that was it. And then they were showing a picture of Ginger Mahal holding up that WWE Championship on the mini time tron. And that was it for that one. And now we have... A U.S. Open Challenge match, but it did not happen. So here it is. AJ Styles comes out. He talks on the microphone, and then he says that to Kevin Owens and stuff like that. And then he says, Boron Corbin, you're going to be a failure tonight. Then Boron Corbin comes out, does his entrance. And then, of course, the ring announcer was, like, doing their ring names and stuff. And then, of course, Boron Corbin kept attacking AJ Styles before the match started. But then... Of course, there was no match. And then, of course, Tyler Dillinger comes out. Then he attacks Boron Corbin and starts going right after him and stuff. And then AJ Styles go after Boron Corbin. And then next, he makes him tap out with his new maneuver, whatever it was. AJ Styles kept doing a Boron Corbin a lot, making him tap out. And then that was it. Then he was hurting his, like, his leg and stuff. And then that was it. And all the referees were trying to make it stop. And that was it. Now we have the return of Char Flair. Woo! That's right. Char Flair came down in that ring and said to all the fans that thanks for the lot of prayers for her father and stuff and everything else. And then, of course, Natalia interrupts. And then she says that there's going to be a celebration tonight. And then, of course, the people bring in, like, a, a big thing. And, of course, you know what it was underneath? Natalia showing up that SmackDown Women's Championship belt. And then Char Flair says this, that I am going to challenge you for that SmackDown Women's Championship belt. And then, of course, Becky Lynch comes out. Whoa! She says, I respect you and your father, Charlotte, but I want to go out with that SmackDown Women's Championship belt. And then Natalia, and then Naomi comes out. Of course, next, feel the glow. She comes out and then she starts to say that. She wants to go after the SmackDown Women's Championship belt, too. And then, of course, out comes Tamina Elena, of course. 
they Lena said that it's Tamina's turn to go out with the SmackDown Women's Belt. Then Natalia just goes say this on the ramp by saying this. I'm not a cow or something like that. And I'm not like that. And then, of course, I will be holding on for this belt for a very long time. And then the yes, yes, yes. Daniel Bryan comes out and he says that. Sorry to run for your little celebration, Natalia. So tonight's main event, it is going to be a fatal four-way match. The return of Char Flair versus Naomi versus Tamina and versus Becky Lynch. And then that was it. He just made a fatal four-way of Naomi, Becky Lynch, Char Flair, and Tamina. And that was it for that part. Now we have match number three of the night, and it is the New Day because New Day Rock. New Day Rock. Of course, the Uzo's on commentary, and they versus the Hype Bros. This match was pretty good. The New Day won with their finisher, new finisher with the the New Day mid arrow, and they won, uh, and they pinned Zach Lauer for the one, two, three, and that was it, and they won. And now we have Kevin Owens on the Vi satellite. He was just talking about Shane McMahon and stuff like that, and about the McMahon families and stuff, and then he was kept talking about them, and then that was it. Now we have the show off, Dolph Ziggler, of course. He dresses up like Triple H. He comes out and dresses up like Triple H first. He talks on the microphone about all the fans are still bunches of losers. And the next, he dresses up like Triple H. Then he says about spinning water and stuff like that. And the next, he has another costume he got, had a great idea of dressing up like HBK Shawn Michaels. And, of course, he's about the smile and stuff like that, he was saying. And then, of course... Break it down! Dun, 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 dun. And that's right, he dresses up like D Generation X. Then, of course, he says, I have two wars for you. Nobody doesn't care, Dolph Ziggler says. And nobody doesn't care about you with all the fans and stuff. He was saying, and then that was it. And now we have our main event the Fatal Floyd match Char Flair, Becky Lynch, Tamina, and Naomi. And uh, to, to be determined to face Natalia at WWE Hell in a Cell for the SmackDown Women's Championship match that Dylan Bryan made earlier tonight. So here we go. This match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. It was kick out after kick out. It was pretty good. And Char Flair won with the big boot kick to Tamina for the one, two, three. And that was it. And here's the winner, Char Flair. And she is moving on to WWE Hell in a Cell. To face Natalia for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And what a SmackDown Live that was last night, guys. So, guys, once again, hope you all enjoy my WWE SmackDown Live review from last night's show. So, guys, once again, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys. See ya.